Scars is hard, really hard. Most people that watch this video, you probably always die in scours or you just can't win. Well, first of all, all I want to say is that don't feel ashamed and feel bad for yourself. Scars is a very difficult game mode with a lot of sweaty players, and you will die a lot at first before you get better at it and start to enjoy this game. You might not even be the best at PvP or even good, but I know, you still want to win, right? Well, let me tell you this. I have more than 200 ping most of the time and I've made a lot of good PvPers in Skywars but under these extreme circumstances, I've still developed strategies to help me win. Trust me, the tip works. If someone like me can win with these, well, you guys that have better ping and PC than me will definitely win more games than me. And also, by the way, in this video, we are not going to talk about PvP because, well, it's just essential to any PvP minigames. So I'm just going to assume that all of the players are better at you in PvPing. And also, one last thing, thank you for choosing my video, and if you have learned something after watching this video, maybe, you know, consider subscribing. Let's start. In Skywars, there are quite a lot of kits and perks, and I know a lot of YouTubers talk about this, so I'm just going to tell you guys what kits that are actually useful and can help you get kills. More perks to get first, because some perks are quite expensive, so getting the important perks at the beginning is quite useful for newer players, and all of them have their pros and cons, so you need to use the right kits that suit your playstyle as well, I'm going to teach you guys how to choose it right now. Knight You will spawn with a better sword, and if you are decent at PvPing, use this kit, you will be able to get more kills and wins faster, but remember, a diamond helmet is better than a gold helmet that you spawn with. Armor. It's a good kit for people that are not that good at PvP and having bad luck all the times. It's a solid kit that improves your gear, but the downside is that you might get a diamond chestplate at mid or after killing someone. Frog. It is the best kit to rush mid and you want to use this kit if you want to get better loot that works best in maps that have more mid chests and I'm going to show guys how to do it later. Scout. It's a good kit to just be quick in general and it suits most playstyle. But don't play it if you can't PvP with speed. Yes, I know, I'm being Captain Obvious, but just don't force yourself to play kits that doesn't suit you, because somebody, they just can't play with speed, and then they will just keep falling into the void accidentally all the times. So if you're that kind of person, don't play Scout, it doesn't suit you. Baseball. This is a very good kit at killing, but you need to learn how to position yourself to hit your opponent into the void. Then you can basically kill everyone. No matter what armor they have or what sword they have, Mother Void will kill them all. But the downside to this kit is that you just don't get the loot from people after killing them, and also people will get under pearls at mid and also after refill, so try to rush for kills if you are playing this kit. Don't get me wrong, there are some other kits that are very good as well, but some of them require specific skills that are not the easiest to master, such as the troll kit. So yeah, those are the best kits that I suggest you guys to use, and now for the perks. You first want to max out Juggernaut, which is quite cheap in the grand scheme of things, and then get Savior. These two perks will give you regeneration after killing someone, and then you want to get Bulldozer. It is the best perk in the entire game, and it will give you strength for 5 seconds after killing someone. Basically means they can 3 or 4 shot someone, so yeah, that is very overpowered, and you should max it as fast as possible, since this can lead to some pretty juicy strength chains. Please remember that Bulldozer only works in solo Skywars, and on the other hand, if you see someone just got a kill, run away from 5 seconds before engaging them. Then the last major perk you want to get is Lucky Charm. This goes to X6 and it will take you quite a lot of time to max it out, but the results are absolutely worth it since you get a 30% chance to get a golden apple after killing someone. And also, get Black Magic and Ender Mastery if you know how to pearl clutch, that is very useful as well. The only perk that you should never get is the Necromancer perk. Why? Well, because when you are bridging in Scarrows, the zombie will teleport to you because it's too far away, and it will cause you to die because you just couldn't place the block. So yeah, thank you Hypixel, and even if you accidentally bought it, you can right click the perk in order to disable it, so yeah. Strategies The maps that the mid is very close by, I suggest you to play Frog and then rush mid. It's a very good strategy to get better loot and also to get to mid quickly so that you can control it and get more kills. And that's how we'll play Frog. Alright, I've got waterways. So, so, looting fast is extremely important if you're trying to play Frog because when you want to rush mid as fast as possible. So, as you guys can tell, I'm just hacking as quick as I can. And we are going to get a water bucket. We don't have a chest plate though. So, we will try to get one. Uh, just get faster than me, you know. I see that they have a fight going on, so maybe 
be truck? No, okay, that's good. Into the void, I ain't got the gear. Up on the way, I kicked down here. Let me see. Oh yeah, he's an idiot. Okay, let's go. Easy flaps, boy. Another method is to get to mid and just wait for people to fight and then clean them up. This works, but you will need some practice because they might kill each other and then get strength to kill you instead. So you need to go in earlier than you think in order to clean up the fight successfully. And a strategy that you should never do is side rushing. Why? Well, if you side rush your opponent, let's say that you kill them. Need to loot his island and then go back to yours to loot your island as well to prevent you from missing any armor or parts. And it will waste so much time that other people will be at mid and getting the fire sword pro 5 armor as well. Moreover, another person might be spawn rushing him as well, so you are very much dead when you spawn rush. So yeah, don't do this strat, it is basically just a gamble. Tips and tricks. Always drink a fire resistant part if you ever got one, you never know when your opponent will use lava. Looting and scouts should be as quick as lightning and if you just start to play this game, I suggest you guys join a game, loot all the chests as fast as possible and then leave the game and do it again. This will practice your looting speed by a tremendous amount and that's what I did to get faster at looting and hard keying. You might be like, whoa, that my KD will just be very bad. Well, if you get better, in the future, the kills that you'll get will just cover over this tiny amount of deaths, so don't even worry about it, think about the long term. Always keep a water bucket on you because in scouts, you will get knocked off a lot. So you want to use a water bucket to reduce the fall damage that you take. You might not see much, but you won't be slowed down due to the damage you take and get comboed again. And it's useful as well to get rid of fire, so never forget to get it. If you have two sharpness sword, combine them in an anvil if you can. I know this sounds obvious as well, but a lot of people forget to upgrade their gear during our scouts games. So next time after you kill someone, always run to a safe spot and change your armor. And then get all of your potions out, you never know when you'll need them. If you're in the late game and your opponent is very strong and he's camping, wait until double refill. This will guarantee you to have any post to block clutch and to chase him, so even if your PvP is worse than him, you can still win the fight by outgearing him. This goes on right to the next trap, play safe and play smart. Go for fights that will improve your gear and don't go for stupid fights that you can't win. If you want to kill a stack player, wait till you fight someone and try to knock him into the void or clean up the fight. This is the best shot that you got, because if you don't, he will just get way too strong that you can't beat him later. But also beware that people might come and clean up your cleanup, so always check if anyone is behind you or chasing you after you kill him. Don't play in bad maps. You just get pissed over and over again to the annoying people bowing you off in those maps when the mid is just very far away. So just simply don't play those maps. Play maps that can juke around and have good mid chest locations. Those are the maps where you want to practice in and they will improve your skill and teach you the secrets in different maps. Don't play scouts if you're mad. I know the saying you're mad because you're bad, but it doesn't quite fit in Sky Wars because of the hackers here and also your ping. You will sometimes be really, really unlucky and this happens to me quite often as well. And every time if I think that is a skill issue and just try to push through and keep playing, I'll just get even more frustrated and get burned out. Also for real, please just subscribe, like for real, I mean it's free and it really helps out a lot. Don't think that only like one tiny subscriber won't help out, it does. I need you and you watching this video is already learning something and helping yourself. So you know, one of those step further, maybe helping someone today as well. And also at last, thank you so so much for watching my video, I love you all and I'll see you next time.